It was a beautiful song. So I, uh, I'm sure a lot of you know it. Uh, Graham Kendrick in the UK wrote this. It was back in the 1980s. And, and it captures this paradox so well. Meekness and majesty. Oh, yes. Meekness and majesty, manhood and deity. In perfect harmony, the man who is God. Wisdom unsearchable, God the invisible. Love indestructible, in frailty appears. Lord of infinity, stooping so tenderly, lifts our humanity to the heights of his throne. Mm. I, that's, that's absolutely wonderful, right? Yes. You have to have all this in mind when we begin to look at God saying, blessed are the meek, right? blessed are the gentle. Right? Because in, in our society, that's not, what, no. you know, that's not what's considered the, the no. goal that you want to aim for. Right? That's not what gets you to the top. No, no. You know, I said this to Alice, and I, I'll, I'll date this, and I don't particularly want to, but I think it's important. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the beginning, or probably in the midst, of a presidential campaign season here in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And in, in the Republican Party, there is a candidate, Donald J. Trump, mm -hmm. who is just, I mean, blowing away all of the other candidates. I mean, he is so far ahead of them. And... The reason is, and people keep saying this, is because of his strength. He shows strong. You know, he's, he, he talks about strength and being strong. Well, that's what the world thinks the answer is. But Jesus is saying, blessed are the meek. And you want to know something? That's the world. That's, that's between them and God. I'm not, I'm not here to judge the world. Mm -mm. Jesus didn't come into the world to judge the world. No. He came in to save, all right? But we in the body of Christ are supposed to get this. Meek, again in the dictionary, it means humbly patient or docile, as under provocation from others. Well, how much more docile and meek can you get than Jesus Christ? You know, going to trial before the, before the council, before the Pontius Pilate, the power of Rome, being mocked and whipped and beaten, nailed to a cross, and yet his response is, Father, forgive them. And had, it not, had he not done that, had he called 10,000 angels and wiped everything out, we'd be in big trouble. We'd be in bigger trouble than we can begin to understand. And then the dictionary says that being meek is overly submissive or compliant. Yeah. Can't be overly submissive. Patient, long-suffering, submissive in disposition or nature, humble, spineless or spiritless, compliant. Now, let me just, well, that's because the world... That's a worldly adaptation it, it, or a worldly yeah, view of that. It is. Yeah. You see... Parts of that are true, yeah. and parts of it are not true. We have to have a truth. Well, it's like, yes, a bit of poison. You know, if, I wanted to, if, if Satan wants to kill us, he's more subtle than any other beast of the field. If he's going to poison us, he doesn't have to give us a whole thing. It just, you know, add a little poison to the truth, right? right? You can't be overly submissive no. when you are to be totally submissive right. to the will of God. Amen. Okay? Totally complying with all he has commanded. And that is hardly spiritless, because it's being filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? And it does not mean weak. Not at all. Meek does not mean weak. No. It takes incredible strength to be meek. Well, that's what I wanted to say, all right? It takes real strength to be, to be meek. However, having said that, it's not quite true because it's a paradox. Mm -hmm. What it takes to be meek is a willingness to die to yourself. Mm -hmm. It is obedience to God to be willing to die to yourself. Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, For consider your calling, brethren, that there were not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak, the weak things of this world to shame the things which are strong, and the base things of the world and the despise God has chosen, the things that are not, so that he may nullify the things that are, so that no man may boast before God. Oh, wow. 1 Corinthians 1, 26-29. Now you see, the purpose is humility. That's right. You have nothing to boast in. God didn't choose you because, oh my goodness, he looked down and said, boy, he's got, I need him. No, he chose you because you're foolish. Ha, ha, ha. 
He chose you because you were weak. Because then he can be glorified in and through you. That's right. It's about the glory of God. And we have to get to that place because pride is the fall of man. And pride says you want to be strong. You want to show forth that you, you are able. You You're not able. Your own. Yeah. That's the whole point. Being meek is being, being willing to say, being humble is being willing to say, I'm not able. That's right. That's why we're talking about poor spirit. You have to be totally dependent on God. Totally. All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him in his presence